All right, as you click on this, you're like, dude, I'm tired of, maybe I don't wanna pay for leads. Maybe I want leads for free. Maybe I want people saying, Landon, I wanna do business with you and they're doing it every day and, and it's because of stuff you did previously, right? I'm excited about this title because there, you can generate thousands of leads for free. Yeah, you have to understand that as long as you're patient and you're able to develop a content marketing strategy along with using the, the channels that we have that are, that are free, mm -hmm. you will get inbound leads. You will get inbound leads from that. Uh, we have a client that is, does Medicare, and um, they have a big old website they've built. And they, I think the other day they wrote 27 uh, Medicare policies off their website with wow. leads that week. And that, and they didn't pay a dollar for that lead cost technically. Um, they just came in and inbound. And also those are lay down sales. Those are what what's called. what's some numbers of the amount of leads they're getting from that? Uh, sh what do you mean? Like how many leads a week they're getting? Yeah. Uh, I mean, h hundreds of, whether it's gated content, like we, we look at our website, for instance, we'll right. get th about 350 inbound inquiries a week. That comes from gated content, contact us forums, um, really just people trying to connect with our content and reach out on social. You're sending me screenshots of people reaching out to you on your personal social page almost yes. every day to try and get in touch with us. Are we counting I get that every those? day as well. I'm not, no. Uh, yeah, because we're, we got... A handful of those every day too. So that's the point, right? You eventually want people reaching out to you, right? It, as, as, as you talked about before, being the buyer versus the seller. Yes. Right? You, yes. You, you, you want to have people reaching out to you, asking you to do business with you. There is a way to generate leads for free. You just have to be patient and you have to build a good foundation. And one of the things, we just did a video on content marketing. You should go check that out. It's full, like a sort of step-by-step -step on how to actually do content marketing. Yeah. So go check that video out. I'm not going to get back into content marketing, but... If you're the one that is educating the consumer um, over and over and over, you're going to be the one that gets the first opportunity at that business. So what yes. I mean by educating is, is writing articles, you know, uh, creating value to the industry. What yeah. is being searched? What is, what is the hot button topic in your particular area? Maybe mm -hmm. a Medicare plan changed in your county, and maybe mm. that's going to affect hundreds of people. Well, if you're the one that's saying, hey, guys. Aetna just rolled out a new plan that's going to raise pretty much everyone's cost by 250 bucks. Make sure you read that letter you get from Aetna. Yes. But here's your options instead or mm -hmm. whatever, that type of angle. Or that letter's 78, 78 pages. We made it into one page and here Perfect, you go. Perfect, dude. Right? That's yeah. exactly right. That's exactly right. So not to say that that one Facebook post or article will get you tons of inbound leads, but if you, at, if you structure correctly, continually educating the market and putting yourself in that position will get you those inbound leads. Yes. Um, not to mention... You know, you're able to use social media. Um, if, any, if anybody's been able to leverage social media to its fullest potential in an organic state, it's been you, man. Talk Thanks, to me about bro. your strategy on how you've been able to sort of leverage that. That's how you started, really. Right? It, it is, man. I mean, yeah, it, it, everybody looks at, it, it, at our stuff like, oh, my gosh, you guys are, you know, have a big team and you're doing amazing stuff. And it's like, we're not that special. We just, the, you know, the one thing, it starts with the same letters by I know, name. I know what you're going to say. Dude, we were just consistent. Yep, consistent. We didn't give up. Like if we did the virtual conference, if you don't quit, you can't fail. Yep. We were just consistent. And I just we just put out content. We, because my team and you know, everybody else, Keith, Dale, and everybody else, right, did more than I did. We just consistently put it out every day. And what do you know, four and a half years later, some people watch. A few, maybe the biggest YouTube channel on YouTube, you know, in insurance training, but okay. Um, no, but that's the key though. It's like, you gotta be consistent with it and you gotta be able to really, your heart really needs to be educating. Like if you're trying to create an article yes. only to just try and fish the leads out, it comes across as disingenuous. Oh, yeah, if it's like, if the goal is, I wanna make money tomorrow. Yeah, I think you'll be. quit, and you're also not going to do content marketing. You're going to go buy leads. That's it, and that and that's fine. Like buying leads is great for short term results. Like that's totally cool. Obviously, yes. we're a leads company. Sure, you know. But the the point of of trying to get organic leads is to educate the public. Now, in order to actually do that, you you have to be found on Google. Believe it or not, right? Yes. So you know, one of the things that people don't understand about how Google works is. Google is really looking for local professionals to give answers to the local searches. So like if mm -hmm. someone's looking for a local Medicare office or a Medicare supplement quote or whatever, they're gonna, Google's going to try and find a local presence there. If they can't find a local presence, then they're going to start giving the national presence the authority in that area. But there's a wide open market um, for people to become a thought leader and authority in the actual specific market on the keywords you're going for. You're not competing against Aetna and these big carriers. You kind of are on a national scale, for mm -hmm. sure you are. But like when it comes to like the local keyword research, their content is not going to have the geotags, the actual right. cities and the actual tags. And they're also not going to have a Google My Business that says, I have an office here. So let me ask you a question. If you're an individual that's aging into Medicare and you're truly looking for the best solution Medicare office for you, are you going to want to go to an actual office in Springfield, Missouri, or are you going to want to go to some random website? An office. Okay. Well, that's Google knows that too. So yep. they prioritize local individuals 
over national and only give national people the credit when there isn't a local presence. Yeah. Does that make sense? Totally. And, and a lot of people forget there's like multiple pieces to that first page of Google, right? There's ads, there's actual organic posts, yep. right? Blog posts, websites, there's business listings like you're talking about. Also, they got to where if they find relevant YouTube videos, Google owns YouTube, they yep. put those videos there too. Yep. And you've got like a little playlist of videos. And Google Maps. So if you're, if yes. you're, uh, if the keyword search that's happening in your city says like near me or whatever, they're going to throw up Google Maps. And if you're not a dot on that map, you're not going to have a chance of getting that business. Absolutely. Right? So, and you can also, I mean, gosh, there's so much to learn about this, but like you can even put ads on the Google Maps and then get calls. And there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, but anyway, so in order to be be found, though, you have to have the content engine moving, and you also need to um, develop like a what's called a, a gated content strategy or like yes. an ebook. So especially for lead gen. Well, if you go to Secure Agent Leads website, you know you'll see we've got scripts, we've got you know, how to, got tips on how to close our, our deal, our final expense leads or Medicare leads, whatever. And whenever we say we get 300, you know, inbound inquiries a week, a lot of that is that requesting to download an actual final yes. expense script. Yes. Well, the individual that is downloading the final expense script, don't you think they're probably a prospect for us? Totally. Okay. So isn't that probably a good lead for our sales team? Yes. Okay. So that's how it all works, right? You got to be found on Google with content. You got to have lead magnets, gated content, um, something that gets the information email address after you've provided value. Mm -hmm. And then you'll start to get those inbound leads. It's really not that hard. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, if you start searching for like leads, you'll see our ad pop up, you know, one, two, almost every time. And in, in, in ratio wise, we are one point something throughout the month. Yep. But also if you search like Spanish file expense leads, we're always one or two organically as well. Yeah. Even know? across the country. I think yeah. if you Google uh, Spanish final expense leads, I think we're like one or two. Yes. I'm on that. No matter where. Yep. Which is pretty impressive, honestly. Um, but it so, takes time. Totally, totally. But it's, totally. it's listen to stuff like this. But a lot of people will listen. The real question is, will you actually apply what you learn? And that is true. That's the reason why 92% fail is they, 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 everybody knows stuff. Everybody wants to learn. Everybody kind of wants to be successful. They talk about it. But most people, the stuff you're talking about, most people don't actually do it. Well, it's, it's incredibly important, and it's a long-term strategy. So yeah. if, you're, if, you're, if all of your marketing budget is going towards buying leads – you're you're, mess, you're you're creating an unsustainable situation. Totally right. You want to be building a brand and also lead generating along the. Actually, I should say it for, better this way. You want to generate leads, but also brand along the way. Yes, because if you stop buying them one week, it stops. The whole thing stops. You have no engine. You turn the faucet off. Exactly, and then you're trying to live on, you know, re only referrals or or your warm market or whatever. Leftovers just, that are in the fridge. You know, it came work. out of the false set. Ain't going to work. So at the end of the day, you know, what, what we want to try to encourage you guys to do is, yeah, buy leads. Obviously, that's an important part of the insurance totally. industry, right? But you also need to carve out a portion of the budget to work on this organic lead flow that you will get. Okay, I know a final expense producer. I don't want to name his name. Everybody maybe even know who he, who he is. He has a big old final expense website. He does a million dollars of premium a year on his yeah. own pen off that stinking SEO site. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Why is he doing that? Because no one else is sprinting and competing with him. He just, yeah, he, 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 he started the race earlier and his freaking outlasted everyone. That's exactly right. And he's continually consistent in yes. what he's doing. And he, I dude. bet you he doesn't spend a dollar on leads. And I no, bet you he gosh, feeds no. all of his agents on all of his organic leads. Now, totally. that takes a lot of time. I did a video with Jeff Root. He talks about spending an hour a day on your sure. SEO. So if you don't have an hour a day, you should probably hire an SEO company like Secure Agent Marketing. But if you have more time than money, then that's an absolute vital thing to be doing sure. is, is build a WordPress website, use Elementor Page Builder to be able to add these pages, create a blog feed, and then just go to work, create content, and then just stumble your way into it. You can find a bunch of Google. I've We've got on our YouTube channel, but whether it's your YouTube channel or ours, there's plenty of videos on how to actually do SEO. Oh, my gosh. So Totally. Anyways, what am I missing, man? That's it. I mean, you got you're right. You got you got to start. You got to think long term, and you got to realize. Okay, I want leads. The whole thing about this is I want eventually have leads, which means, what you probably explain in other videos, is you got to structure it right. Yep. Which we, which we do talk about in other videos. So go back and watch the content marketing video, and we'll talk about how oh. to structure it. So, if you guys want to get organic leads moving, you got to start going now. Um, this was, uh, you know, hopefully beneficial to you guys. Um, you can buy leads all day long, but that's unsustainable. You want to be able to work towards creating your own. Marketing funnels generate your own leads as well without paying per lead. Yep. And if you're like, this Landon dude knows his stuff, bro. Just go to securitymarketing.com and we'll make sure you get a free strategy call with yeah. him. All yeah. right. Let's do it. All Trust right. Me. Looking forward to working with you guys. It'll help.
who had just finished that video and you're like, I want some more secrets. I'm like, I want it all, man, dude, I'm with you there, okay? Insurance marketing secrets. Landon just shot a video with Mr. Jeff Root. You gotta check out this video, okay? It's literally right there, okay? Go click on it. We'll both be in there and we'll see you there. Doesn't matter what platform it's on. I think they're caught up in trying to get the lowest cost per lead instead of 